Right, so hello, Di Thomas from Warden Park. Hello, John. How are you? I'm really good. I just thought we're here to just talk a little bit about a Teach Meet that you're kindly hosting. Yep, we're hosting a Teach Meet on the 23rd of November um, between 4 o'clock and 6 o'clock at Warden Park. And that's in Haywards Heath? Uh, Haywards Heath, actually in Cookfield. These Teach Meets, it's open to all teachers from in the sort of local area can come along? Yeah, any teacher really who is interested in, I suppose, collaborating, um, talking to other teachers who, about digital learning. So anyone can come along. Right, so it's a Teach Me Warden Park. I've forgotten the date already. 23rd of November. 23rd of November, 4 till 6. 4 till 6. And it's really about uh, exploring different iPad learning opportunities yep. within the classroom. Correct. Should be a lot of fun. We hope to see you there. Yeah, come along. But one area that's of particular interest at the moment is code. And I just, um, we've had a little play with the Gmoo robot, uh, which is about £109 from the Apple Store. And we've got it on an iPad here. So, um, Di, over to you, Di. Tell us what you, um, what do you think about this, uh, th this product? Well, first of all, I think this is a rather engaging little thing. Um, let's do the happy dance, because I like that. Don't know if you can see that. Um, <laughs> You've got stuck. Um, but Turning around for the camera, shall we? Do you want to try that again? Yeah, let's try it again. That's better. Uh, um, straight away, the, the iPad interface, I think, is really nice. Um, we've got an animation, actually. I don't know if people can see that, but there's actually an animation going to happen on screen as well as the actual uh, robot toy actually moving. Um, so I like the fact that you can... Uh, Operate on an iPad, it's got a really nice interface. The interface looks exactly like the product. I think that's a really positive thing. Um, presumably then, John, you can program things on the iPad without the product. Yeah. So the key here is, is that you have a virtual version of Mebot. Uh, that means you could have a classroom of students trying different moves, because you can define your own move here, make your own signature move. But you don't necessarily have to have the physical robot. So you can connect to it in turn to maybe show and tell as such your, your new signature move. Yep. So, so I, I like that very much. One of the things that we find with programming, obviously we teach programming at various different levels, um, all the way up to GCSE programming, is that some of the concepts, John, are very abstract. And so the, 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 the thing to try and engage all children in that is, is quite difficult, I think. So I think what this does quite nicely, it immediately connects you with, with, with reality. Does that make sense? So, Absolutely. So, so you, can, you can immediately work from the interface you know, and see something actually happening. Now, from my point of view, that, that straight away is engaging. So I think you're going to engage more children um, more quickly uh, with that kind of concept. Yeah, I, I, I could see this working really well, you know, lower primary ages, you know, very engaging straight away. Um, you can move on from this into block-based learning with something like Scratch or Code or Game Lab or something like that, you know, and, and, and some of the other uh, block-based products that are actually there. So brilliant. Um, that's going to be part, I think, of the Warden Park Teach Me. You've got to have a chance to meet and play with me by yourself. Absolutely, and, and w therefore we should have the happy dance. To, to show us how. Cool.